Hi everybody, it's Daphne and you're very welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming to spend some time with me today. I really appreciate it. Today I am going to do um, a quick um, get ready with me, a kind of a Valentine's Day look. Um, just something easy and quick and um, so I'm bare faced as you can see, zits and all. Um, it's the only thing I have on is my eyebrows and a little bit of mascara because I was collecting my daughter from school. So I'm going to get into it fairly quickly and I have some new products um, that I want to use and they're actually Irish and I'm very proud to um, be able to showcase them. <clears throat> they weren't sent to me, I bought them myself. This is a sample I got of the Bobbi Brown Extra Illuminating Moisture, ba Moisture Balm. Um, so that's it, it's tiny, but there it is. I just want to see what it's like um, under makeup. So it's quite thick. Um, it's illuminating, so hopefully it'll give a nice glow. It feels nice. Yeah, I must just clip back my hair. Now, the products that I want to talk to you about in this are in this video are the they're Marissa Car they're called Carter Beauty. So they're by Marissa Carter, and you may know her products by um, Coco Brown the, the self tan. She does a makeup range as well. Uh, so recently I picked up the Hold Tight Perfecting Primer, which is this here, and the packaging is so pretty. And I picked up the um, Half Measure Dewy Foundation. That's that. I also picked up the Cover Covert Concealer. Um, I'll tell you the colors as I'm using them. And I bought her Come Hither Mascara. In black and the steadfast liquid liner pen in black so I'm going to start with the primer which is very it's a clear like a gel and it, it, it is quite silicone so if you don't like silicone you may not like it but it, I find it is a really good primer but this makes your skin really soft and it actually does help things to stay so it's just a clear primer <clears throat> Excuse me. That's it there. It's called the Hold Tight Perfecting Primer. I think that was seven euro and fifty cent. The color of the foundation I got. Need my glasses. Uh, this is in the color Creme Brulee. You won't be able to see it, but it's written there, Creme Brulee. I was kind of puzzled as to whether this would be a really good color match for me because it actually looks a bit dark for me, but it's not actually. <laughs> It, it blends out beautifully um, so that's it there I'm going to use this this is the Sephora the number it's a uh, core diffuser number 94 and I'm going to start in the center of my face and work my way out and this is very buildable so I can put this on in the morning going to school with my daughter without having it being too he appearing to be too heavy I can then if I'm going out I can build it up a bit because this is Valentine's Day I'm going to put a little bit more on so not too much about half of a squeeze and I'm going to use my little mirror <clears throat> I have to keep my eye on the time and I'm just going to take it down my neck a little what's left on the brush and blend so you can see I hope you can see it's a good color for me because it warms up my skin a little bit now I am going to go in then with the concealer the covert concealer and I am in the color meringue it's tiny but that says meringue <laughs> I shall link them below now this looks quite light as you can see and um, you need the tiniest amount that's it. I'm just going to use my finger and put it on my dark spot, the dark spots under my eye, because I do have a problem with, you know, dark ring, dark circles. It's not a problem. It's just something that I have to cover. And you can see it brightens it quite nicely. Um, and then I have a nice little zit there that needs covering. And I'm going to just do a very light dusting of my Charlotte Tilbury oh, what is it um, airbrush airbrush flawless finish it's nearly gone 
but I only need a tiny bit anyway. I just want to give it a little bit of staying power. My Bobbi Brown bronzer and to warm up my skin. I'm kind of going between two mirrors here. So just to warm up. It's as if the sun was hitting you. And then along your jawline, it gives a little bit of definition. And it's, I'm not putting too much on, I'm just giving it a little warm up. Now I'm gonna go in with MAC Warm Soul, which is that one there. I've got a good dusting of this along my cheek because it's quite luminous, so it will kind of act as a highlighter as well. Um, so you can see it's kind of warming up my cheeks there. And then I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going in with my NARS Orgasm, which has come apart. Um, I really hit pan on this. And this is just to give a little bit more of definition. I'm going to be careful. It's kind of layering blushes is a good idea. So you can kind of see the sheen of the warm sole. And then I'll use my powder brush again just to sort of bring it all together. I'm going to do my brows, which are partially done. And this is my CYO Brow Sculpting Pencil. And it's, I think it's, oh, it's in dark. It's kind of like the NYX one that I use, but this is the Boots, it's a Boots brand. Um, I just couldn't get the NYX one the day I needed it, and I needed it, so I bought this one. Um, and very quickly do my brows. Um, I just follow the natural shape of my brows. I don't think too extravagant. Um, so again, with the other one, just very softly define them. We'll go in with my Maybelline Creme de Rose colour tattoo. Yeah. I'm going to use the Essence Hello New York palette, which is again very inexpensive. It has a nice little mirror, and there is the palette. So I just thought this would be nice, cool tones. Um, I'm going to go in with this grey first of all. It's actually quite a grey, pale grey, and I'll use the little mirror here. So it just gives a nice base. Then I am going in with, I'm going to go over that with this lovely kind of heathery colour here. It doesn't look heathery, but you can see it's kind of shimmery. I'm going to put that on my lid as well. Oh, I did a big smudge there, didn't I? Yes. I'll blend that out. I have a feeling one of my daughters was using this brush and used it for a dark shadow. Happens a lot. <laughs> You can see that nice, subtle, to blend that out. Then I am going to go in with this darker grey here to define my crease. And the outer V. Then I am going to use this, it's a kind of a creamy colour, it is actually more champagne-y, and put that on my brow bone. And I'm going to define a little bit more with this dark purple here to go into my crease. Just layering shadows really to um, get the colour and the effect that you want. I use my Marissa Carter liner 
which is a lovely um, fine liner and it's actually very easy to work with. So I'm going to line the whole top of my lid right down as far as I can into the corner. And I want a slightly dramatic look so I'm going to pull it out to a wing. The same on the other. Now that sets nicely and then I'm going to use my NARS liner in, I think it's just dark brown and I'm just going to smudge it into the lash, my upper lash line like that. And this is a lovely one because you can actually smoke it out. It's very easy to work with, but once it sets, it's pretty much set because I've always had a problem with um, liners smudging. Now, I'm going to go in under my bottom lashes with this grey. Just to smoke it out a bit. So you can see it's quite a smoky look. And then I'm going to go in with the Come Hither Lengthening Mascara in black. Again from Carter Beauty. And this is really good at lengthening. Um, at lengthening your lashes, which is what I want. A nice fluttery look. Nice and soft and romantic for Valentine's Day. Then for lips, I wanted something very soft. So I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk liner. And fill in and then the par Charlotte Tilbury pillow tuck lipstick the matte lipstick now I'm gonna get a fluffy brush and just blend the shadows a little more. So that's the makeup look and <clears throat> I will go and fix my hair and come back to you with jewellery and so on. Back in a sec. So I'm back. I just put some soft curls into my hair and a very, very small amount of back combing or teasing, uh, just some soft curls and um, that's the look. I hope you've enjoyed it um, and remember that Carter Beauty products are really really good value and I've really been enjoying these very much so and um, the, the wear on this foundation is really good so and they're really inexpensive so um, I highly recommend them and um, it's not a sponsored video. So I hope you like that look. You're all set then for a Galentine's Day with your girlfriends or an evening with your hubby or your partner or whoever or with your kids or just with yourself. <laughs> You're all set. Um, I hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up if, you enjoy, if you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, maybe you would think of subscribing and hitting the little bell beside the subscription button. And I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye.